Before attempting your needle, it's important to stretch out your shoulders, back, and legs. The first exercise is stretching your back. Going into a bridge and putting your feet together. While doing this, you want to sit in your back bend as low as you can while pushing your chin to your chest. Keep your feet together and try straightening your legs. This will give you a really good stretch in your shoulders. Next, we're going to do lunges to stretch our legs. Put your chest up nice and tall and make sure that your knee and your ankle are in a straight line with one another and push your hips forward. Then you're going to straighten that leg while flexing your foot and rounding over. Put your hands back on your knee with your chest up nice and tall and push your hips forward. And then again, straighten your leg with a flex foot and round forward. You're gonna go into a nice deep lunge while keeping that back leg as straight as possible. If you can, try to put your elbows down on the floor. Round forward and try to put your chest down over your front leg. Straighten your front leg now, grab your ankle and try to pull your head down to your knee. If you can, try to get your chest all the way down flat on top of your leg. Next, we're going to sit into our split. Chest up nice and tall. And then round forward, grabbing your leg nice and tight. Come back up, and now you're gonna arch back as far as you can. Remember that you don't need to be able to grab your leg in this position in order to do a needle. The first step is to spot. Look for an object to stare at and be sure not to take your eyes off of it. Next, catch or pull your leg into a form of a scorpion. Remember that if your hands are not low enough, you won't be able to straighten your leg. Lastly, when straightening your leg, you want to think of pulling up and forward. Be sure to do these stretches after practicing your needle to help release any tension on your back. 